Hey everybody, happy Friday. I hope you all had an amazing week and that you're excited about the weekend. I know I am. Lucky enough to actually have a really like fall color inspired floral order this weekend. So I don't book a lot of fall weddings for some reason, but I'm always excited when I do and especially when the brides are open to using lots of burgundies and oranges and like deep kind of mustardy yellows. Like I'm just so excited to put together these bouquets because I think they're going to be so beautiful. So very excited about that. And um, this is also my anniversary weekend. <laughs> it's crazy. On um, Sunday is our seven year anniversary. We were married on October 25th, 2007. And, sorry, 2008. <laughs> We got engaged in 2007, but um, I just, I honestly can't believe that seven years have gone by. So um, we're going out to a really fancy dinner on Saturday night instead of Sunday night, and hopefully maybe just walk around and enjoy being out. <laughs> got a babysitter for Stella. Maybe we'll go see a movie. I don't know, but I'm just really excited to get to spend some time with Craig and um, go to our favorite, like overly indulgent, overly expensive restaurant. But every once in a while, it's good to treat yourself. So I'm looking forward to that. Okay, let's dive into the Friday favorites and flops. Um, no flops this week again, so I've been doing pretty good. Um, I have a, it's probably a surprising <laughs> home fragrance pick. Um, it is a Kringle candle. It's the very last one that I burned. I still need to do an in-depth review of this one, and that will be still be coming despite me mentioning it in this video, but I'll do an in-depth review um, probably to go up next week sometime. But this is Kringle Candle Hot Chocolate. It's the one candle out of that entire bunch of candles that I bought that like has an amazing throw, smells delicious. It smells like hot chocolate, you guys. It smells very similar to Yankee Candles Chocolate Layer Cake. They're extremely similar. Um, I actually have chocolate layer cake and I smell them side by side and they're very similar. It basically just smells like chocolate. Um, you do get that kind of like, I guess you could call it like whipped cream type note. There is that like creaminess to this. Oh, it's just delicious you guys. And this one threw like a mother. The only problem that I have with this is that the wicks are really kind of short. I haven't trimmed them at all myself, and so I don't get a very deep wax pool on this one, but what I do have melted smells really strong and fills up my office space no problem. So this was a huge surprise for me, and sorry, camera's shaking, um, just a big fat winner. Who knew? <laughs> one out of five. <laughs> okay. Um, let's get into, I do have a bath thing that I want to share with you guys. And this is another one of the little samples that my friend Elle sent to me. Her, um, she has uh, a website called Dollface Boutique and she makes her own soaps and tarts and she sells other things in her shop as well. I will of course link it down below for you. But she sent me a sample of her marshmallow fireside soap. Oh my God, you guys, if you love Marshmallow Fireside from Bath & Body Works, the candle form, here it is in a soap. It smells dead on, you guys. It smells so good. I love using her soaps in the shower to shave my legs. Um, I can definitely use them all over my body, but I love to use them to shave my legs because they're extremely moisturizing and they get so frothy and creamy. They are, um, so they're a bar soap. So here's another one that I'm going to use next. This is the oatmeal milk and honey, which, oh my God, God, that smells good too. But this is like the same kind of size that I have for the marshmallow fireside. Oh my God, you guys, these soaps are so friggin' good. So I will put, um, Dollface Boutique link down below for you. Go check out her shop. She has so much to choose from. Um, her tarts are really good as well. And she has some really unique scents and some like dupes for a lot of like Bath and Body Works things. Um, so, but Marshmallow Fireside, holy cannoli. It's dead on. It's so good. Okay. Um, the blush that I've been using all week is basically just this blush palette again from Tarte. 
It's their Bling It On Amazonian Clay Blush Palette. I just, I love this. Mostly I've been using Prim and I've been using Fetching. So a really nice neutral and then kind of a plummy shade. I just love this so much. I did do my Sephora VIB recommendations and um, recommendations and wish list video for you guys this week. It's listed down below if you missed it. But I put this in there because I do really think of all the holiday sets that I've purchased so far, this is the one that I feel is a must have. I just love these blushes, you guys. They're absolutely fantastic, and you just can't beat it, especially if you buy it at 20% off. So um, if you've never been able to get your hands on one of these, even if you have to buy it before the sale to make sure that you get one, really recommend picking this up. I love this. Okay, the eyeshadow I've been wearing basically all week has come from the Too Faced Natural Matte Eyeshadow Palette. I also had this in that suggestions video. Um, usually I've been going with either of these two rows here, so either kind of a purpley taupe or more of like a warm chocolatey brown. And um, just, you know, using these guys in the crease buffing out the crease with, you know, the lighter counterpart here and then putting one of these shades onto my lid. So easy. These are so awesome to work with and blendable and creamy and just gorgeous and the packaging is nice and small and you can easily take this traveling with you. I just think it's such a beautiful palette and it's not a holiday palette, but it's a must have in my book. I think it's better than a lot of the holiday palettes that I've seen so far. So um, anyway, good job Too Faced on this one. I absolutely love this. I have been using my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Diffused Light as my highlighter for the last couple of weeks now, and I just love this, you guys. This is definitely so much better than any of the other highlighters that I use because it, it provides more of a glow. It doesn't like... It's not like a crazy highlight. I'm not a crazy highlight person. I know there are people out there on YouTube and Instagram who just, like their cheeks are like a, a glowing ball of glowiness. Um, I don't like that look on me because my skin is a lot more oily to start with. So if I start out with like a glowy cheek and like glowy highlight all over, at the end of the day, I just look like a grease ball that has an extra layer of Crisco on top. Like it just doesn't look good on me. This is like the one highlighter that I could potentially use all over my face and it it doesn't give me that look at the end of the day. It's just so much more natural. They are so much more expensive than a lot of the highlighters that you can find out there, but they're so worth it, you guys. If you've never tried any of these ambient lighting powders, they're gorgeous. There's no chunky glitter or shimmer. They just give you like a natural glow to your skin. I love to highlight down the bridge of my nose. I even did a little bit along my like cheekbones here today. I, I just, I love this. And diffused light is definitely my favorite. I also have ethereal light and I really like that one as well, but these are just fantastic. So you, you must, you must at least try them the next time you go to Sephora, watch them feel how creamy and soft and beautiful the texture is. Oh, I love these. I love them. And then I'm also going to mention a lipstick. I'm kind of mentioning a lot of expensive stuff this week. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that, but um, the NARS Audacious Lipsticks. Um, Anita is one that I've been wearing basically all week. It's so easy to put this one on. It's just a pinky nude. And it's, here, I'll give you guys a swatch. It's so pretty. I just honestly can't get enough of this one. It's probably... Besides uh, besides Anna, this is probably my favorite from this Audacious line. And they're so creamy, and they actually leave a little bit of a stain on your lips. Like, you can see this left a stain on my hand here. So when the creaminess sort of starts to fade away, you still have color on your lips. like, And you can still put your lips together and feel just a hint of that, like, moisturizing, balmy feel. Like, this has a very unique texture. I really recommend checking these out if you're looking to try a high-end lipstick. They also have fun packaging because it's magnetic. <laughs> so I really like that. But Anita, I'm a huge fan. I will, of course, link everything down below for you. And that's it. That's all that I have to share with you. Um, all of my videos from earlier in the week will be listed down below if you missed any of them. 
Thank you guys. Also, I just have to give a huge thank you um, for all of the amazing comments that you left for Stella on her tutorial. I've been reading them to her and she just has the biggest smile on her face when I'm reading them to her. You honestly like made her day with just saying, wow, that was wonderful or a great tutorial, Stella. Like she just, all kids love to be like praised and encouraged and I can tell that it just made her feel really encouraged. You guys know that I try really hard not to like overexpose Stella. Like I do share her like here on my channel and obviously on my Instagram um, and on Snapchat, but I, you know, I just, I don't want to put her out there too much because I've seen other YouTube kids like get attacked. Like some people just write the meanest things and I just don't understand why you would attack a little kid. And so I try to be careful not to put her out there too much. Um, because I just don't want that to start happening to her in any kind of way. Like, that would honestly just hurt my heart so much. And, um, you know, if anyone were to ever, like, start attacking Stella on a regular basis, like, YouTube would be done. <laughs> like, there's just no way I would ever, you know, like, would want her to experience that this early on in life. So, um, I just thank you guys for like being supportive of her and encouraging her. And, you know, it's just, she wanted to do that. She always pretends to record videos cause she sees mama doing it a lot. And, um, you know, it was fun to like actually record one and let her watch it back. And she was just so excited about it. And, um, I'll definitely let her do another one. You know, maybe we'll do like one a month or something like that. But, she loves to talk about makeup. She loves to talk about hair stuff already, and she just has a really good time with it. So thank you guys again for being so kind to her and sweet and just encouraging her because, you know, I think all kids deserve to be encouraged and to, you know, be pushed to do whatever it is that they love to do, whether it's like doing their hair, putting on lip gloss, or like, you know, riding dirt bikes or whatever it is, like, you know, we should be encouraging our kids. So thank you guys again. Have a great weekend. And um, I do have one bonus video that's going up on Sunday. So you'll see that on Sunday. Bye, guys.